No school district in Oklahoma will provide more for kids next year, and that is very, very tragic. That's a direct quote from State Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister when talking about the budget crisis affecting our classrooms. And now as we are heading back to school, the school year starting up, we are joined now by State Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister. Thank you so much for taking some time. I know it's a very busy time of Absolutely. year for you. Absolutely, and it's great to be here. We're glad to have you. And let's just start with this. How are things looking right now, specifically, specifically the budget? Well, with the budget, of course, uh, schools were uh, cut, uh, mm -hmm. and those cuts came at various funding streams. So, you know, the legislature did a lot to try to keep funding flat, but that's just one part of how they're funded, and they certainly feel the effects of the economy. And the districts across the state have taken some pretty drastic measures trying to deal with the budget crisis. Yes. Um, these overcrowded classrooms, teachers losing their jobs, four-day school weeks. What is your biggest concern when it comes to the quality of our children's education? Well, my real concern is that we are not able to just tread water and feel like that's good enough. We have a lot of lifting we need to do, and that's going to take a real prioritization of our funding as well as uh, how we spend time on meaningful instruction. So we're removing some of the testing emphasis, mm -hmm. uh, making certain we have really high value value with those tools that we use, uh, but we want the focus to be on learning and learning for the long run. Learning for the long run, you talked about some material and getting rid of the testing. It seems like to me, and I've never been a teacher as you obviously have, uh, no matter how great the technology is or the curriculum is, it really doesn't matter unless you have a great teacher. Would you say that's correct? Absolutely, and I think you know, you've just hit on something that is paramount for success for students. Every student needs to have a teacher, and we still have a teacher shortage. It's still um, very pronounced. We are having to issue emergency certifications uh, because we're not able to attract and retain top talent for our students, and this is something that has to be solved. This seems borderline contradictory to me because we often talk about these uh, emergency teacher certifications, the teacher right. shortage, but then we've fired thousands of teachers or they've been let go. So how do you have a, sor a shortage and a surplus? Uh, that just shows you what's really happening. We have lost positions and many of those cuts were, some were teachers, uh, some were support staff uh, and administration that also lost their positions. Uh, but still, even with those cuts, you would think there would be uh, less openings. And indeed, we still have a teacher shortage and have not been able to find candidates to fill that that are already certified. What would you say to someone out there? Why would you be a teacher in Oklahoma? Unfortunately, a lot of instability, not great job security. I know we're towards the very bottom. I think only two states come in worse than Oklahoma when it comes to teacher pay. Why would a quality teacher want to come to Oklahoma? Well, the teachers who are here and those who are staying in Oklahoma and coming here have a heart for the students of Oklahoma. Okay. And it is the most noble profession. You have a opportunity to really influence uh, the lives of individual students in a positive way and be a part of the solution. But you do, I mean, if you move somewhere else and you can get paid ten, twenty thousand dollars more a year, that's right. you can still have a positive impact on students in a different state. You can. So this is the dilemma. Sure. And we know that the most important person in the schoolhouse is the teacher mm -hmm. in affecting outcomes for students. So if we are going to lift education outcomes for our state, we must have effective teachers and solve the teacher shortage. I can name several teachers who changed my life personally, and they really are. They're life changers and life shapers. You ran on a platform of raising teacher salaries by about $5,000. Is that going to happen or is that on the back burner now with the, the budget crisis? I believe that there is a will to do that. Okay. Uh, we are seeing that from our governor. We, we have seen many bills that were filed last year and a lot of working out of that uh, and great effort in the legislature this past session. And certainly we know there's a ballot initiative as well. So the, the people of Oklahoma want to solve this teacher shortage and they recognize that we need to have competitive pay sure. with those surrounding states so that we can keep those teachers. But it is more than that. Uh, we also need to make certain we are dealing with issues like reading mm -hmm. and that we are increasing our graduation rate, that our students are ready for the future with their next steps in learning after they graduate. So our focus will remain there as well. We had a lot of people reach out when we announced that we'd be chatting with you. Want to mm -hmm. get to some of the viewer questions okay. we received. Start with this one. How do we expect our education to get better if we keep cutting the budget? Inmates in our prisons can get college degrees for free, but our hands are tied. It, it's a good point. Um, I do think that there needs a, to be a strategic plan 
so that we can address those issues where really education is what lifts people into a new opportunity and a new future. If we don't address those needs, we will continue to grow mm -hmm. our prison population. Um, we've got to solve this, our kids deserve it, and we need an education system that will match their promise and potential. It always comes back to teachers as we talked about, and this one is about those emergency certifications. The large influx of those emergency certified teachers because large numbers of good teachers are leaving because they're not valued. When yes. you were a teacher, did you feel like you were valued? You know, I did, okay. and it's something that is absolutely, I think, number one. Teachers want to make a difference, and that comes with, uh, I think, a, an understanding that the community respects what sure. they are doing. Um, I think that teachers have felt in the past that their hands are tied, that mm -hmm. there is a lot of paperwork, that they are not able to focus on students individually. So I am asking for a refocusing of how we spend the classroom day and a greater emphasis on individualized learning for students, personalized learning, um, helping students to have their needs met if they are advanced. Uh, we are not meeting the needs of our advanced students, but also those with um, diverse learning needs also have to be met. And this requires uh, resources. Mm -hmm. So when those are cut, we are going to see the lingering challenges that we have continue to deepen. I want to go back to the quote that we, we started with before we got to you. Um, no school district in Oklahoma will provide more for kids next year, and that is very, very tragic. Yeah. Would you consider what's going on a crisis? Would you consider it a tragedy? It, well, it is a crisis, and it certainly is tragic. Anytime you can see what needs to be done, but you don't have the tools or the resources to do it. That's where we are right now in Oklahoma. Those who are in the classrooms are uh, working in very creative, innovative ways, and, and that's good. Uh, you know, necessity is the mother of invention. Absolutely. So we are certainly seeing, um, I think, uh, new ways to think of how to provide uh, and meet the needs of students. Uh, however, you can't make the kinds of gains in the kind of uh, time frame that students deserve if we continue down this path.